In this episode of Classic G-Body Garage, one of my YouTube subscribers actually give me their G-Body. What? Hey guys, what's going on? Brian here with Classic G-Body Garage. And yes, you did hear me correctly. I received this 1978 Cutlass Supreme broom for free. Now, for those of you who keep telling me to stop buying these cutlasses, keep buying or start buying other G-Bodies. Well, when people are actually giving me their car, hey, I'm gonna take it. This one just happens to be a cutlass. Now, there was a catch to getting this car and the story goes like this. So the owner of this car used to use it as a daily driver. Now the car's old and over time it broke down and he let it sit. And he let it sit unregistered for over a year and he lives in an apartment complex. So you know what happens to cars that sit in apartment complexes. People start asking questions. Why is this car sitting here? Why doesn't it have registered tags? And people start complaining to the landlord. So the landlord went ahead and contacted him and said, hey, I'm getting complaints, people are talking about your car taking up parking spaces here. It needs to go, and it needs to go immediately. Now, the landlord starting to get starting to get real serious here and told him if it doesn't get, get out of the, uh, the lot there, that he's gonna send it to the scrapyard. Now, the owner of this Cutlass happens to be a fan of Classic G-Body Garage. He's seen my videos, and he knows how much that I love these cars and love to keep them going and keep them on the road. Now, he did not want to see this car get scrapped, so he calls me, tells me his situation, but the catch is the car had to be gone by the weekend. It's Wednesday at this time, so I only have a couple of days. So uh, what do I do? I went ahead and I placed, uh, uh, I posted on the Classic G-Body Garage Facebook group, asked the members for some help. The car happened to be two hours away. I don't have a truck or a trailer yet and I ask them for some help. I tell them I need to get this car by the weekend because if it doesn't happen, it's gonna get sent to the crusher and I did not wanna see this car get crushed. And it did look pretty good. And as you guys can see, it is in pretty good condition. All right, so let me go ahead and I'll grab the camera. I'll do a quick walk around of the car, show you guys the exterior, go through the interior, take a peek under the hood, in the trunk, and let you guys know what I have planned for this car. All right, let's start off with the interior. Like I said, this is the Brome edition. However, the only Brome part about this car are the pillow seats. Usually Bromes mean fully loaded cars. Well, it only has the manual windows, no power locks, no power seats. It does have a tilt steering column and it does not have delay wipers. However, it does have air conditioning and it does also have the original clock. It even has the red pine tree to match the interior. Strawberry, delicious. So, uh, as you can see, it is relatively untouched down to the original radio. Things are looking pretty nice in here. It is original. Like I said, it's a little bit dirty. It needs a little bit of cleaning here and there. Some of the interior plastic is, of course, uh, falling apart. Like, I mean, it just turns to dust, literally. But this is what happens with the plastics on these old G bodies, the uh, plastic just disintegrates due to age and, and sun, just dries it out. But the, uh, the doors open and close very nicely. And let me grab the keys. You can see the dashboard actually doesn't have any cracks at all on it. Very nice shape. Let me open up the trunk. Uh, it does have a couple of uh, rust spots here and there, as you can see. A couple of spots, not really too bad for the age of the car. Let me open up the trunk. This is what the back of it looks like. Needs some trunk carpet in it, but the trunk is very clean. No uh, rust holes, the jack is in place, everything is there. Uh, just a, a pretty nice car, untouched for the most part, which I like. It's what I look for when I buy these cars. You can see the uh, passenger side. Here's a couple of, uh, you know, blisters, rust blisters, nothing too severe. Passenger door's nice. Open up this side. Looks just as good as the driver's side. Armrest has a little split in it. The uh, door panel on the driver's side, of course, is falling apart. I do have a set of door panels for it. But overall, interior's in nice shape. Headliner's good. 
which is shocking. It probably was redone at some point in time. Let's check out under the hood. All right, so under the hood is the traditional Oldsmobile 260 V8. It isn't a huge powerhouse, but they are great runners, smooth runners, and make for just a great cruiser. These cars were not meant to be uh, muscle cars, they were meant to be driven, meant to be nice cruisers, and that's exactly what the Olds 260 provides. Now, something that I really love is everything is under the hood. The AC is all there, all the vacuum lines are there, and it doesn't look like anything's been butchered or hacked up. That's what I like, and the car is a great runner. Now, as far as the issues go, the previous owner told me that it did overheat. It does have a brand new radiator in it, so that's kind of questionable. Now, he did say that the coolant all came out of it. Well, you gotta figure out how that happened. So, that's problem number one. Uh, problem number two, let me go back to the interior. Uh, the turn signal lever is broken. All right, so I'm gonna have to pull that column apart and figure that out. Uh, third issue is just cosmetic. I mentioned that the Door panels are falling apart. I do have a couple door panels for that. Uh, transmission, it leaks. The transmission was rebuilt recently. It only has a thousand miles on the transmission. However, it's puking. So, not sure why that is. I'm not sure if they uh, uh, mess something up or maybe they just tighten the pan gasket too much and crush the gasket, therefore it is leaking. All right guys, well there you go. A little quick walk around of this 78 Cutlass Supreme Brome. Now, it's actually in pretty decent shape, so I would have hate to seen a car like this get scrapped, so I'm glad I had the opportunity to go ahead and save it. Now, what are my plans for this car? Well, I am of course gonna do some videos on it. You did see that it does have a few issues, so I am gonna sort through those, film some videos, so make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button so you can go ahead and follow along. Now. Once everything is done on this car and it is back on the road where it belongs, I'm going to go ahead and post the car for sale. Now, I'm going to give you guys a hell of a deal considering I got this car for free. Now, I am going to have some time and money wrapped up into it, so you're going to have to take that into consideration, but I want to make sure that you guys get a deal to get yourself into the G-Body game, so to speak. And I'm gonna post the car for sale on either the Classic G-Body Garage Facebook page or the Classic G-Body Garage Instagram page. So, I'll go ahead and post those links in the description below. I ask you guys that you follow me on social media by uh, subscribing to this channel or follow me on Facebook and Instagram. So, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think of this deal. And until the next classic G-Body Garage video, make sure you keep those G-Bodies rolling.